This is, um, Queens of the Stone Age. All death metal. Hi, I'm Elliot Stent and thank you for tuning into my demo of the TC Electronic Shaker Vibrato pedal. So the pedal features a three position toggle switch in the middle which allows you to choose between three modes of operation. Um, at the top you've got the vibrato mode which is the standard mode for the pedal, it allows you to use all of the controls apart from the rise time. Um, in the middle you've then got the tone print mode as the shaker is part of the, uh, the lineup of tone print enabled pedals that TC puts out. Um, so this means that you can plug the pedal into your computer using a supplied USB cable and then if you download the completely free TC editor software from their website um, you can kind of like tweak parameters of the pedal that aren't available to you um, physically on it. So this means that you can invent some very interesting and unique ideas um, and sounds and import them back into the pedal meaning that you can kind of have two presets to uh, switch between if you have the pedal um, in normal vibrato mode and then switch it to tone print you kind of got that immediately available to you so yeah it's really cool and then alternatively you've also got the tone print app for your phone as well meaning that you can um, beam patches that have already been created by um, famous players such as Doug Aldrich and the guys from Mastodon um, and then you can beam it into the pedal and then those are available and you can you know if those inspire you more if you're using sounds that have already been created then you know that's really cool you know it's great um, the last mode is then the latch mode meaning that the uh, vibrato effect is only on when your foot is held down on the foot switch so it's quite an interesting concept. If you only want, you know, a vibrato effect for a very short amount of time, then you know it's really cool. I use it in one of the um, the upcoming playing clips as well, just to show you what it sort of what it sort of does. Um, moving on, you've then got the the four controls on the pedal. So you've got the speed control, which allows you to set how quickly or slow you want the vibrato effect to be. Um, you've then got the depth control, which um, allows you to adjust the intensity of the modulation. Um, it kind of also works the mix control as well. So you know, you're kind of mixing more of it into your signal the, the more you turn it up. Um, the rise time is then a control that's only sort of, um, only works for the latch mode. So basically if you set the rise time all the way down, when you put your foot on the foot switch, the vibrato effect is immediately on. Um, so if you set it sort of more clockwise, the attack is a lot slower when you put your foot down. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting control on there. You can really kind of um, manipulate the latch mode more having it on there. So yeah, it's a really cool feature. And then lastly, you've got the tone mode. Uh, sorry, the tone uh, control, which um, is it's kind of like an EQ control. Uh, if you set it all the way up, you've got all of the top end from your signal coming through, and then when you roll it down, you're taking a lot of the top end off. So it sort of works like a tone control on your guitar, basically. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. Um, I'll just briefly go through the setup I'm running in this video. So I'm using my Fender Strat Plus, which is going to my Marshall JVM. Um, the output from that is then going into my Roland Core Capture interface, and then that's going into my Mac and into Logic Pro X. Worth noting that I'm also using the shaker in the effects loop of my amp. Um, I just feel like it sort of works better in the effects loop. And then also I'm using my TC Flashback Delay for some delay sounds, and my uh, Line 6 M5 for a few sort of reverbs as well. So yeah, um, enough of me talking, um, we'll sort of move on to some playing clips now of some riffs that sort of famously use a vibrato effect, uh, and then some which kind of don't as well, which I just kind of thought it would sort of work well on, you know. 
Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, here we go. Okay, so um, thank you so much for tuning into my video today guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, if you're looking for a really awesome vibrato pedal, uh, absolutely check out the TC Electronic Shaker, um, I've found myself using it a lot more in my music recently and um, as someone that's kind of previously 
exclusively used like a chorus sound on a clean tone. Um, I found myself using the vibrato, um, the shaker a lot more in my recordings um, because it's a kind of less synthetic, more uh, subtle and natural sounding effect on you know like clean sounds and stuff. It kind of doesn't change your your sound as a chorus pedal might do. And um, I totally kind of understand why uh, Stephen Wilson um, kind of has a very passionate dislike for chorus pedals. Which I mean I don't share that. You know I still like chorus pedals, but um, you know I can understand why he sort of goes for a, a vibrato sound over a chorus sound. Um, you know I, I kind of understand it now. So um, yeah. Um, Make sure to subscribe to my uh, to my channel. I've got quite a few more videos coming up soon, and um, and yeah, you know, thank you so much for tuning in, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.